What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Lawn and Landscape. It's raining this morning, but we're still getting to work. Rain doesn't stop us. As you can see, I got my handy dandy raincoat on. Uh, but we're going to do some mulch today. We've got four yards of red mulch to install. We've got some shrubs to trim and we've got some trees to trim. We also had a grading job on the schedule, but I knew it was supposed to rain, so we went ahead and got that done yesterday. So that's all we've got on the schedule for today. Uh, I've got a couple other things to wrap up, so I don't know if I'm going to get to be there for the entire job, but I'm going to take you guys along with me uh, while I can at least and see if there's not something that we can pass along to you guys. See you at the job. Well, it finally stopped raining enough to where I'm going to be able to get the camera out, but uh, we got all the shrubs trimmed. Nick's working on some grasses now. It's been raining pretty hard, but uh, I'll show you what we've got done so far. And guys, I had a couple people telling me I shouldn't work in the rain. I think that's just absurd. I don't know how you get anything done, especially in the spring and in the fall like this, but this is what we got done so far. Nick took the loppers to these. They were, some of them were up to that vent. They were well over this gutter right here. So we chopped those down. There's the remnants of those. And there's some of them in the back of the truck and there's the length of the truck, but that's 10 foot. So they were about 10 foot taller than they are now. Look much cleaner over here. And they were coming out past this gate. They were kind of drooping way down and taking all that up. So we trimmed all those up. Cleaning up the last of the few grasses here. There was two grasses right there. Uh, those were, this is a six foot fence. Those are well over the fence. Again, there's some of the pieces. Those are about 10 foot long. And then we had another set of grasses right there. Another one right there. And in between those three arbor bodies and that tree back there. So we got those uh, cleaned up. Got these cleaned up. Nick wearing his handy dandy rain jacket. It's actually my jacket, but those things are nice. Keep you dry for sure. <clears throat> wetsuit yeah basically what it is <clears throat> and then the front over here we trimmed up some shrubs we got one there a few more over here this Japanese maple right there was all over the porch almost to the sidewalk and covering half of that box where we got that thing trimmed up nice cut out way more than we left that's for sure uh, but it's looking good now Trimmed up these two boxwoods, holly, holly over here. And then we had three more boxwoods right here. So these three don't look the best. They look pretty good, but they don't look the best. They were actually all connected, kind of making a hedge. Uh, and I tried to separate them the best I could. So uh, like I said, they don't look the best right now, but uh, better than they did. And then we had a bunch of volunteers coming up all over the place we got all those cut out this tree had a lot of dead stuff in it still has a little bit we need to pull out of here but again this was kind of hanging down touching the grass down here so got that thing uh, really cleaned up looking good so and I said I was gonna try to give you guys some tips if there's any tips I can give you um, yeah I mean just really do things the right way try to be a professional with it don't uh, don't just try to squeak by like I said over here these were forming a hedge I easily could have just went over that one time and uh, left it a hedge and ran away but I tried separating them the best I could doesn't look the best now but if we trim these for another year or two we'll be able to get those rounded out again so you got to do what you got to do to make separation uh, and you don't want those if you leave them a hedge eventually they're gonna die out especially being that size I wanted to separate them um, and then this tree there's a lot of dead stuff in there. It took a while to go through and pick that out, but that's what you got to do. To do it the right way, that's that's what it takes. So that's what we did there. Uh, just try to get it off the ground a little bit. We couldn't take too much. It's only about seven foot tall, so there's only so much you can do. But clean that up uh, on this holly. Really didn't have to do anything there. Just shape it a little bit. And then these boxwoods, they were kind of looking pretty hurt uh, we trimmed them up the best we could and then there was a bunch of spots like this where there was kind of holes in there so what I did you can still see them uh, I didn't get them fixed but what I did was went in here and just tried to kind of fluff them up tried to fill them in a little bit pull some of that good stuff out of here and and let that grow and try to get this shrub looking good again so just trying to do what I can and of course always get it off the house whatever it takes if you have to chop the back off of a shrub to get it off the house that's what you need to do never let anything touch the house because it will discolor it eventually so 
that's what we've got done so far we're going to go ahead and clean all these uh, clippings up we're going to mulch this bed and that'll be all she wrote for this one but perfect job for a rain day and on this one here on this front side and on the back side i took quite a bit off on this side over here i didn't take a bunch off because it was kind of squared off on that side so i'm trying to again trying to make it round again trying to make it uh, aesthetically pleasing so trying to again do what i can to make them look good but there's only so much you can do these shrubs probably haven't been touched in two or three years i would guess so just trying to make stuff look good but we're gonna get all this stuff cleaned up here shove it all in the truck and put some mulch down Are there? No, a couple. Yeah, we need to grab a couple of these branches. Huh? We need to grab these branches. What? Okay. All right, so we're loading everything up, and what we're gonna do here, we've got these long pieces left. We're gonna save these. These are about eight, ten foot long, something like that. So we'll load everything else up, then we'll put these on top, put one strap on it, and it'll hold everything down. And then we'll put our tarp down on top of it too for security, but. That's the way you want to do it. Whenever you're loading all kinds of different debris like this, load all your smaller stuff first. Save some of your big stuff for last to hold it all down. Alright, it started raining pretty heavy again. I gotta put this camera away. Uh, I'll walk you through anything else that I can, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to or not. We're getting ready to be at the mulch stage, and uh, yeah, that shouldn't take us very long. We're pretty quick when we do mulch, so that may be it for this one. I'll try to, like I said, I'll try to pull it out if I can, but not worth ruining the camera over, so it is what it is. But there was just a few tips for you guys. Hopefully those helped. Uh, another one. You saw me do there at the end, if I've got a stack of limbs or whatever, little pieces of brush, I'll try to find the biggest one, lay it down on the ground, and then stack everything else on top of that, saving the small stuff for last. And then you can kind of grab it all up together. That usually works pretty good. Uh, and Nick brought up a good point too. Whenever you're trimming like this, it's always nice whenever you mulch afterwards. It makes things a lot quicker, a lot easier. You don't have to clean up every fine little piece of clipping so uh, those of you guys that are trying to uh, get out get your businesses going that may be a good way to upsell your customers tell them this isn't something that we do personally uh, maybe we should but you could tell them that if you're going to trim their shrubs that they might as well get mulched too that you'll offer it at a little discounted rate because uh, it saves you a lot of cleanup whenever it comes to the shrubs and that uh, it's just more bang for their buck that if they get mulched at the same time that they trim so uh, like I said, maybe something that you guys can try to use to upsell your customers, I don't know. But we're going to get back to it here, and if I can, I'll show you guys uh, the process of the mulch here. All right, so we got poured on again, but we pushed through and we got her done. All 
All right, I'll see you at the shop. And also let me know down in the comments who pushes through like this on rain days. Uh, like I said, I had some people tell me that we shouldn't be working when it's raining. And I think that's just crazy. You got to do what you got to do. And you got to get this stuff done. There's some jobs that can be completed in the rain and there's some that can't. Alright guys, that's all we got for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, we appreciate your support. Be sure to uh, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. And if you're not subscribed here on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.